And it looks like Complexity are rotating over to the Roshan pit too. Bears gonna get scattered out first. Uh, so slow. They sh they should have just coordinated this. Oh, gets the, uh, brings it back just in time to be able to dodge the crush. And now here comes the initiation. Ice Blast is going to come on through. Looks like they want to be able to pop Swindles, and they might be successful. Aloha Dance doesn't actually have his ultimate, so they have, don't have enough burst damage. Meanwhile, Roshan finally is going to go down. Yoku Grab has the opportunity to pick it up, but oh no! He needs to drop something, and he's not going to be able to pick it up. Let's oh Sunset picks up the ages. Yoku drops the ball. G now going to be targeted by the Doom. He's going to fall as well. Furtis Pro. Quite literally crumbling before our eyes. FNG just lucky that he didn't get rooted there. Now taking a pretty decent lead, and we're only going to see that lead really grow into something major as they start taking down Tier 2 Towers. They're going to run an FNG, too. He's certainly dead. They have the Ice Blast coming in by Complexity. They've already kind of split themselves. No fear. Caught by the bear. He's going to be rooted to death. They get the Air Spike out from Aloha Dance. He turns to blow up Chessie, and they're successful in that regard. But G is now right in front of Blimp, who managed to Dragon Tail him up, stalling his retreat. But Complexity don't have any more burst damage. Chessie was pretty much all they had. And now they're running low on mana. Yoko sees this opportunity. He's trying to sandwich this team. He does briefly get stunned up, but he's so damn tanky. He has the Death Pack going for him. They managed to hex him up, stalling up that damage, and maybe he'll be able to live. No, he couldn't actually get out of there. News come out in time for complexity. Now, one for one, one for one on both sides. Aloha Dance battling it out with Limp, but unable to finish him off as the armlet toggle goes to play while G chases down. Z Freak is able to get him with the orb, but now G stunned up. Limp goes for another armlet toggle, knowing he's going to need every little bit of HP to be able to come out on top of this fight. He's but FNG quickly going to be able to chase him down. The crush is coming out. The ice blast will clip, and Limp now 100% dead and the Aegis is going to be burned but he has no way out of this one. He's just going to be stalled up and die a second time here. Really nicely done by VP. I can't believe they're able to edge out that victory but they do wipe complexity most likely unless Dragon Knight gets four <laughs> kills here. Okay. Unless somehow he armly toggles. Now gets spotted by Swindle. Got that into your He also sees FNG the jump in, managed to get the stun on a hot skin, but that kind of initiation is only going to leave you open to the glimpse. And sure enough, FNG gets pulled right back in. The Ice Blast comes out. But Virtus Pro, it doesn't do anything. Complexity will just keep on moving forward, it seems. All right, so they'll push mid with this. Oh, never oh mind. whoa, whoa, Limp. He almost gets bursted out by the finger attack. Nice push back there with a the bear. But Yoku is still going to be able to come forward with his BKB. But now he's been ensnared, rooted up, has to ro slowly run himself out of this fight. The supernova goes down. There's surely no way that Virtus Pro can take this one. They're all trying to deny Yoku, but they don't get it. Blink still goes down. They're going to be able to pull back G as well. Three down from Virtus Pro. What happened? That fight, that initiation from FNG. That was bad enough, but then Virtus Pro still getting caught. Who got Finger of Death? He used it. It needed to be on Dragonite, but Dragonite didn't die from it. Yeah. Could have gotten like, oh, did he use it? I can't remember. He used it. He used it. He jumped on Limp, and but the problem is the Ice Flash just didn't last quite long enough. Okay. Right? They hit him during BKB. The BKB lasted long enough, and there was this awkward period of time where Aloha Dance, I think, thought he could get him with Ice Blast static still on him. But now, after that big win, Complexity, they're gonna be able to take at least one Rax here. Maybe Yules is better, who knows, but um, some kind of survivability item past this armor might be good. They gotta survive the burst, and oh, wow, that kills towers fast. Uh, attack speed going to work, starts focusing on the Rax now. Hex is gonna stall things up, FNG. Not gonna be blow. He is gonna, okay. That wasn't quite the timing there for the glimpse. Now the initiation comes out. Swindles is gonna be focused down. Not gonna be able to get up the doom. No, he can't quite get it. Yoku now keeps on going with his BKB. Supernova is used, but Yoku runs out of the BKB and now held by the kinetic field and the static storm combination and taking him out. BKB or buyback actually gonna be used by the Clinks as well as the Lion. Complexity just hope to be able to now that they force that. Get out of dodge, but G is looking to catch somebody, but he desperately, but he's running into the Spirit Bear, and then Spirit Bear actually doing a lot of damage. Loha Dance immediately gets rooted up, is going to die now. G is going to be Dragon Tail. This could be the end of Virtus Pro. They don't have buybacks on three heroes. They've already lost second lane of Rax, and Complexity say, damn, Roshan, damn, Aegis. We can just go straight through, take the tier fours, and force out the GG right now from Big P. Complex. They are going for three-man smoke while Furion pushes in the mid lane. There's no tier one tower there, so they can get some easy information. They found Yoku. 
You're gonna run into him, but it's just not gonna have enough burst damage to deal with him right away. They have the Stone Gaze out, and Complexity are frozen in place. Now, no, they managed to get the Glimpse back, still catching Yoko here, but the rest of British Pro are coming in. Yoko is eventually gonna go down here, but BP can still get an advantage as they Dream Coiled up to almost burst it down. Lift the Finger of Death is enough with the extra bit of nukes. They get that kill, double for FNG. Now he challenges Swindle to a duel. Now can see her spike as well. The stun and Swindle's gonna fall a third hero down from Complexity. Make it four or five. It's now Z Freak gonna be chased down by FNG. Hoskin, nowhere to run to either. A dead end for him, and that's gonna be a total wipe. Virtus Crow managed to respond beautifully to the smoke gank of complexity. So they start shoring up their defenses. They've got the ward already laid out. So when the smoke pops, Windows will see something and will choose his initiation accordingly. They've already got the Doom on a limp, though. The K comes out for the Earth Spirit, landing on both Swindles as well as Hanskin in the background. The Silence goes down as well. Swindles totally ineffective in this team fight, and so is Limp as he's dealing with that Doom. Now the Dream Coil, Complexity totally being manhandled here by Virtus Pro. They managed to get off the Supernova, but it just doesn't matter. One bit, it gets the Doom kill, but Virtus Pro still managed to trade once again, one for five. They might try to grab Bracer here. They're gonna go in. Jump in, manage to get the blink on the limp. Swindles intercepts with the three man crush, but the Doom is still down on limp. All they need is just a clean retreat now, but Complexity is still going to be caught by Swindles. He gets a little bit low, down to half HP. The Supernova is helping. Virtus Pro going into this one, still hit by the Supernova, but they manage to get the coil again, stalling up Complexity to retreat in. No fear, just doing so much for this Earth Spear. Disabling so many heroes, getting so much damage out over time. Complexity are still going to lose three despite several things going their way. The three man crush, the Supernova, those things were in tended to allow Complexity to be able to disengage, but Virtus Pro read that fight really well. G's like, we've won this fight. Doesn't even matter if the Supernova successfully goes yep. off. And we're seeing a dominant lead being gained by them. But again, Complexity, though they have the fight, they're gonna make the initiation. Complexity do get the two-man crush, but that doesn't seem to make a diff much difference in the past as Yoku pops the stone case again, preventing Complexity to be able to follow up on that initiation. Another crush with Swindles. Now the Supernova does it finally change their fate. Yoku, he's going oh, for the egg. No. They managed to kill it limp. He's still got the doom on him and complexity have called it. They've called the GG and the crowd is on their feet here in Moscow as Virtus Pro keep their hopes alive. A really impressive win for VP there. That is that is the VP I know and love. But you know what else is weird? Uh, AC on Axe isn't even good anymore. Oh, now yeah, he does pure damage, damage, so it's like, <laughs> well, he attacks harder, I guess. That's that's cool. Yeah, and we saw it. With oh. Right oh, Jesse. Oh, dear. Pull back with the lasso. Limp's gonna try and intercept with the call. Will be able to grab No Fear, stopping that death ward. Chessie goes for a couple right clicks, but he still ends up going down. And Limp misses the culling blade. Things not working out for Complexity in the onset of this team fight, and it looks to be going even worse. As now as the rest of DP start coming forward, G is gonna be able to find the roar onto Z Freak. Ravage oh, big comes ravage. in. Complexity gonna try and turn this one around with a freezing field, but it's all right outside of range, and it will be stopped by the flame break. G tries to run out, but is caught by Limp. BKB activated with the stone gaze going out. Caught multiple heroes there with that one, but the Damage just really isn't seem to be enough. Virtus Pro may have overestimated their team fight powers. Now they need to be able to get the hell out of here, but Aloha Dance can't really save Yoku. He's continuing to go for the right clicks, but not able to kill anybody here and will eventually get popped just like that. Complexity. It cost them a buyback there from uh, Chessy, but well worth it as they managed to take down three heroes of Virtus Pro. At some point, there it is, finally there picked it up. Is. Hey. Oh, the stadium that. is happy with this one because finally we're going to see a fight out of Virtus Pro, and it's going to be one of those game ending fights potentially. Losing that Divine Rapier, game is definitely over, but it could give VP finally the damage to stop this tanky complexity team. And if he loses this, man, you got to watch out for like DPS Crystal Maiden, <laughs> killer with this. And her armor is actually not that high. And he's got AC. Pipe. Crimson Guard 2 to be used, the call on to Yoku, start pulling him back into the EMP, and it is successful, pulling him half of his mana already down, the first Ravage going down, and they gush up Yoku. Immediately, the Oracle responds with a False Promise, as well as the BKB being used, a lot being blown by Virtus Pro, but it's still gonna catch Ooh. somebody, that's gonna be Limp. They keep him around this middle tier three area, and will be able to, oh, the Ravage initiation, back in, Swindle, he wants to save his brother, Limp, he's gonna go down, but it doesn't matter, a couple of actually have already gotten the damage out, Chessie starts searching for it, they have the buyback on the Axe, and they wanna finish this game, they've already taken out the 
Zeus under the Divine Rapier is on the ground. Last couple of they, they're going to go for it. They take out Jay. The Oko, pick up your Divine Rapier. Save your life. The Witch no, Doctor. It's picked up by No Fear. They need to be able to kill No Fear somehow and actually get the Divine Rapier back in the hands of Yoko. Trying. They managed to get the call. OG as well as No Fear both going to end up going down. Yoko, him against the world with some buybacks coming out now. But she got Yoko, it. He gets back into the base. Will be able to pick up the Divine Rapier. And oh, complexity. Start retreating away. Another call. FNG going to be the target. Already down to half HP. And Jesse wants to be able to finish him off, and he is successful. Two members down to VP, down permanently, and three without buyback. Vertis Pro on the edge here for Epicenter. Oh, that cask. It's buying them time. Jesse close by, but the tornado allows them to be able to disengage. And they might go back in to Axe, Axe ate the Lynn cheese. sees the opportunity, eats the cheese, goes for Yoku, the disables in silence. Yoku needs some help, and Aloha Dance is able to respond in kind. False Promise keeping alive. The BKB activated. Limp, Maledict is actually doing a ton of damage. Limp will go down again. That's two minutes on the clock. Now Complexity. Got to get the hell out of dodge. They can't afford to lose any more heroes with one down for so long against a Divine Rapier. As whether it's the Axe, the Double Ravages, or even just the Invoker getting the chance to right-click Yoku, they can't afford to let complexity determine how this fight's going to be able to start. FNG goes for the jump on a chassis, but the tornado immediately puts a stop to that one. BKB activated. Now the callback, but he also managed to get a lasso on his window, but he just gets blown up. Chessy right clicks him down so damn fast, and Yoku can actually get enough in return. Maledict is taken down on Limp, but he'll be looking healthy in another 10 seconds time. 60 more seconds on the clock. The bottom lane of Rax is actually being threatened by just Creeps alone. Complexity, they don't care. They want to be able to end this game. Tier 3 already down the mid lane. Swindle start jumping forward with the Shiva, slowing down some of these heroes. There it is. Force tap forward. Managed to get up the Ravage. Yoku is actually called up by Limp as well. Another Ravage goes down and Yoku out of mana, out of HP. He's dead for two minutes and Furnace Pro will finally get taken out here. Complexity took their time but they secured this win airtight as they pushed it to almost an hour-long match, but will progress here at Epicenter. They were not messing around this game, and no. they had a very funky draft, but they got so much early game control that they completely kept VP in the base.